Welcome back to the channel guys, this is the 21st episode of my top 10 setups of the day. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. Not only are we starting off this list with a fantastic new house setup from Gamer90011, but we're starting it off with an iconic desk. They've got the classic combination of the Linmon IKEA worktop paired with some Alex drawers with a very nice colour scheme of natural wood and black. Up on the desk you can see a very large Orky gaming mousepad, as well as what appears to be an Acer monitor. You might also be a little bit jealous when you notice they've got both a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 ready for use to the left of the monitor. You can also see the incredibly comfortable Omega gaming chair. I'm also a huge fan of those drawings that they've got above the monitor, however I think the layout of the drawings is a little bit awkward. Next up, we've got this super warm and stylish setup from Tom the Canuck. Of course, they've got the ever popular Calby countertop and Alex Draw desk combo from IKEA. The Calby provides a large amount of desk space, which is more than enough for the mounted LG monitor, a Corsair K70 keyboard, a Logitech mouse, a ROG scabbard mousepad, and a whole computer. Just barely in frame, you can also see the OP's chair, which appears to be the Secret Lab's Titan's chair. I really like the orange-black theme of this setup, but I would love to see some improved lighting as well as maybe a bit more of a room decor to match. Anyone wary of having water near your setup might want to look away from this spot, which comes to us from Reefer NYC, whose name certainly checks out. Those unfamiliar may be shocked to know that that reef tank easily costs significantly more than the setups that we see on this channel. For the actual setup itself, you can see another case of the Calby slash Alex desk combo, as well as a DX Racer gaming chair. Whilst the star of this show is clearly a tank, I would love to see a little bit more cohesion between the setup and the tank, like maybe some blue RGBs or an aquatic wallpaper and mouse pad. Up next, we've got an aerial desk view brought to us from user Mkabki. That unique desk is an a and L-shaped desk, which I don't believe that we've seen before on this channel. I'm a huge fan of the grey coloured wood, which gives the whole setup a very modern and minimalist vibe. Another very unique aspect of this setup are those amazing 3D wall panels behind the chair. That wall texture is known as poly wall panels, and they add a ton of fun to this build. There isn't anything crazy going on for peripherals, but the OP does have a razor mouse with some nice RGB that really complements the orange from the wallpaper and the cat statues. Our next setup comes to us from EXD01, also known as Mike Watt on YouTube, and he actually has a video on where he gets more in depth about this build. I'm a huge fan of that chair, which is a very impressive and incredibly expensive Herman Miller M-Body chair. On the desk, you can see the Grove Made desk shelf, that is supporting a BenQ BD3420 monitor. I'm always a proponent of getting your monitors off of your desk to conserve space, and having it up on the shelf is a creative way to approach that. The lighting in this setup is phenomenal, and it really takes advantage of that textured sound panels. All in all, this is an absolutely fantastic build. This adorable his and hers setup comes to us from Army Sash. These adorable matching couple setups include at least two LG monitors, two Corsair mousepads, and two Corsair keyboards. They also have an awesome lighting scheme. They also have an awesome lighting scheme with the pink and blue RGBs, which work really nicely with those awesome textured wall panels. I would love to see a more sturdy looking desk being used, but honestly, this setup seems almost perfect. Up next is this super cozy setup from user Captain Astro. They've got a dual monitor setup, both of which are mounted on a Duronic monitor arm. Below that you can see two keyboards, with the left one being the Jergood retro keyboard and the right being a nice Wormio K87 keyboard. The two other devices you might not recognise are a Go XLR and an Elgato Stream Deck. They have a really fun orange theme going on with most of the RGBs matching and a complimentary orange and blue mouse pad that looks fantastic. For their desk, you can see a hint of the Calby desktop and Alex drawers from Ikea. I'm a huge fan of the warm lighting in this setup as it makes the build seem really cosy and that's only added to that by those fun plants on the PC. 
This next setup is a super bright and minimal setup from Peck X. In the middle of the huge triple monitor spread is an LG 32 GK 850F-B monitor and on either side of it are two Liama XB2783 HSU B3 monitors and all three monitors are mounted with an Oncron G280 monitor mount. Above the middle monitors we've also got what looks to be a BenQ light bar which we actually haven't seen on these lists for a while. For sound, they're using a very simple set of Logitech Z906 speakers, which whilst not the most fancy, they certainly are reliable. Although it is slightly out of frame, you can see that their chair is a very comfortable Maxnomic Commander still chair. Our next setup is super neon and super fun, and comes to us from Nabil the Unicorn. To kick it off, they're using a Linmon desktop, which is supporting a variety of Razer products, including a mouse, keyboard and headset, as well as some Samsung monitors. Whilst this setup is certainly RGB heavy, they've got a variety of lights putting out a variety of colours, which help break up the monotony that can sometimes be caused by RGB. They also have a very unique chair in the form of the Gaming Freak Magic Throne chair, which is a first on this channel. Swooping in at our number one spot is this amazing Star Wars themed setup from Clark Vader. They have a triple monitor setup with a Gigabyte and Ace monitor, as well as what appears to be a TV. Below that we've got a Logitech mouse and gorgeous Skylong SK64 keyboard, as well as an Elgato Stream Deck Mini. In the corner you can see the PC, which is in a Corsair 220T case that looks fantastic with the blue RGB. Of course, the key to finishing off any Star Wars themed setup is using a lightsaber mounted to the wall as a source of RGB. This setup is truly amazing and really could only be possibly improved with some matching Star Wars wallpaper. And that's the end of today's list. Check out the description for a list of a lot of the gear that I've mentioned in the video. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one.